Hey, Rose. Hi. What are you doing? You know, we're just bringing down the attendance from our supply teacher. What's the attendance? Basically, it just says everyone's name. He checks off who's here, says who's absent, and then we bring it to the office. And it's taken down. Yep. For the whole semester. We know it's on our record, you know? It's good stuff. <laughs> Hi, Rose. What are you doing? Um, I'm just getting stuff from my locker. What's a locker? Uh, we keep all our stuff in the lockers because we have a lot of stuff and we can't all carry it around all day. So. You keep your clothes in there too? Yeah. When it's cold and we bring jackets and stuff. You're not allowed to wear your jackets in class? No. Yeah. Why? We have a really strict uniform. <laughs> and uh, can you tell us a little bit about the uniform? Um, okay, well, for example, like I wouldn't wear my running shoes to class. We have to wear dress shoes. Dress shoes? And the girls have to wear knee-high socks and sweaters when it's winter. And collars have to be shown to the sweater. <laughs> so all students have to abide these rules? Yeah. It helps. It doesn't, like, leave anybody out. If it's, like, in its organization, too. Right? So. Hey, Rose. What are you standing next to? Well, right now, we're standing next to a Christmas tree and in Canada, and especially since we go to a Catholic school. Um, the Christmas tree basically is a tradition. We put up the tree, we decorate it in different types of ornaments and lights, and we put gifts underneath the tree to represent the gifts that the wise men gave to Jesus on his birthday. And usually we put a star on the top, and that represents the star that was shining in the sky that led the wise men to Jesus awesome. on his birthday. So is this a very sacred time for Christians? Yeah, for sure. It's the time that we celebrate the birth of Christ. So, so Steve, do, do we spend time in school during Christmas? Um, we spend time in school during the Christmas season, but we actually get two weeks off around the day, which is December 25th. And Jody, what do we do during that time at home? Well, I spend time with my family. We have a Christmas dinner and just celebrate life. So... On a global perspective, someone who po possibly isn't Christian, do you think uh, the holiday season is inviting for everyone? For sure. The holiday season is definitely inviting for everyone, especially everyone in Canada. Canada is very multicultural. People celebrate it in different ways, and that the way people celebrate it is very much respected. Thanks for your time, guys. Welcome to Canada. So as you can see, it's snowing right now, and you can expect that here in Canada from December December to uh, Marchish, and right now I'm outside my school, and this is our courtyard where we usually have uh, barbecues and have hot dogs and socialize together during the lunches sometimes when we're celebrating certain events in school. Our school also participates annually in the Model United Nations. Last year, our students visited Quebec, Montreal, where each of the students were assigned a certain country and were told to research on that country's viewpoints. This year, the students are planning to visit New York in the country of the United States. The United Nations grants each of the students an opportunity to become more open-minded upon issues that are worldwide, and it all supports our country's multicultural ways. Every year, the grade 11 and 12 law students also participates in the mock trials. Each year, our school is given a certain case, where each of the students, as lawyers and as witnesses, practice and research about these trials. Real judges and lawyers come to our school and witness our presentations in regards to the case. Each of the uh, students battle to find out a winner and to determine whether the defense or the crown has a better case. Mock trials enrich the students' minds about the Canadian legal system and about Our school also participates in YPI, which is no, also known as Youth and Philanthropy Initiative. It is a one-of-a-kind experience that engages all the students in creating social change and also gets them to grow compassionately. The students are asked to choose a cause, research, and present it to the class and prove why that cause should be brought to the public eye. If the student is successful, the YPI will grant a $5,000 check towards the cause that was chosen.
So this is the streets we live on. And because it's Christmas time, everyone has like decorations. You can see a lot of lights everywhere. It's my house, this put lights on. This is McDonald's, where lots and lots of teenagers come and get food. This is where we go shopping. That's our marketplace over there, Sobeys. We're gonna visit there soon, show you where we buy our food. Across here is a toy store where we go to buy our toys. Another grocery store there where we buy our food. Uh, this is a drive-through where we, if we're too lazy to go inside to buy food, we go right through the drive-through window. That's a video store where we get videos to rent and watch at home. If you haven't noticed, it's really cold outside. This is why I'm wearing a jacket and a scarf. My hands are about to fall off because they're <laughs> But, but not literally. Shoot, this feels that way. No, literally. <laughs> so this is our market where we buy our fruits and vegetables. It's inside the store. Anything you possibly need to eat is here at Sobeys or any grocery store. I hope you all enjoyed the video. I had a great taste of life here in Canada. It's been a pleasure doing this video for you. I hope you like our school. And we can't wait to hear from you. Bye!